you really are you really trying to jack my intro right now? Are you really trying to jack my intro? Okay. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? What's the scoop? What what do you want? What? So well you wanna be rude in the intro? You gotta be nice in the intro. You'll be like, hey guys! Hey! Happy Friday! You wanna be nice? No? Okay. Hey you guys, happy Friday, happy Mommy Parole weekend. On today's TMI with Danny, that is a special shout out to my panda Emma who came up with our newest tagline intro. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you've never seen any of my vlogs where I talk about basically everything about my life to the point of no filter. Um, where's she going? Hey, where are you going? Lamern? Renny? Oh, there's little one. There's little one. Where's little one? Oh, and there's Fianto. Oh, no diapers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so today's Friday. Parker was like, I'm gonna get up and go to work early, um, get some overtime since we don't have any kids, just take advantage. Um, he changed roles in his job uh, about a month or two after we met. And with his previous job, he would get up at three or four, he had to be at work at 4.30. And so when we would do like sleepovers and stuff, it was the worst, but I was supportive. <laughs> so he's like, man, I stayed up so early, I'm gonna go in and get some overtime since we don't have any kids, whatever. And I was like, solidarity, I'm gonna get up early too and get some work done. And then it's eight o'clock and I just woke up. So I actually did get up at 5.15, I woke up and then I uh, checked all our like finances, which is what I do first thing in the morning before anyone wakes up. I check our finances. I get a quick scan or skim or gander at social media stats, comments, things like that, where I left off the night before, um, and then email, and then I start my day. Well, I did all that, and then I fell asleep. Because <laughs> I decided to do it from bed, and that was not the best idea. So I fell asleep. Today's Friday. Um, I have a lot of admin stuff work to do. I posted a video last night, my favorite lip products. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it. Um, I have to reply to all your comments. Um, I'm update, I'm caught up or up to date on my Instagram comments, so I don't have to do that right now. Tomorrow's vlog is uploading now. I fail it failed at uploading six times yesterday. I was furious. Um, so I'm uploading it now. It says it'll be ready in 10 minutes, which means I have to do the whole description box of the vlog, which some days I love doing, others, other days I just don't have the time, the bandwidth, the emotional capacity to do it, but I know you guys really like it. And um, I can't do it sometimes. I either have to do it or not do it at all. And I think there's more good from doing it than not doing it. And then tomorrow is Saturday, you guys. <clears throat> tomorrow we're gonna go ring shopping and we're gonna go wedding stuff shopping. We, Parker and I are very upset at ourselves because we have the honeymoon planned, tickets booked, paid off. Like, we were so excited about the honeymoon, we figured it out right away. And that was easy because it's the same resort we always go to, it's where he proposed to me. So it was easy. And I already have a, um, like, I wanna say friend, but like a connection at the resort where I just email him directly and I'm like, these are my dates, these are the times, these are the flights, can you coordinate an itinerary for us? He puts it together in a package and then we just take care of it. So it's easy, you know? And for the wedding, it's like, we don't have a concept, we don't have a date, we don't have a theme, we don't have a guest count, we don't have a whatever. And honestly, maybe not the best way to be telling you guys this is when I just woke up with my sexy man voice, my sexy Jesse Penny pajamas, but but I guess this could be on today's TMI with Danny. Let's talk about our finances. Um, Parker and I are happy to spend money on things that make us happy, but ultimately we're both very frugal. And it's a weird statement to say, it's a very enigmatic statement, and it's also kind of an oxymoron because you'll see I splurge on jeans and I'll splurge on a handbag um, and we'll splurge on a vacation, but I have a very exciting grocery budget that I stick to and I get excited when I like beat it. Um, things like, 
I don't know, my birth control, paying full price for my original birth control, I it's like I think twice about getting it because in my mind I'm like we have medical insurance that should be paying for it because we're paying you know X amount of dollars for my medical insurance why do I still have to pay full price for something when I'm already having a monthly payment for medical insurance I get it, it you know it's it certain things make sense certain things don't and so for me and thank the Lord I picked the right man for Parker having a wedding sounds like setting money on fire. <laughs> Our kids are so insanely expensive between band and my son started piano recently so that's going to be like $800 a term. Um, our oldest bonus baby is starting to drive in um, May. She's getting her license. She has her permit now. So that's going to be a huge expense up front out of pocket for the two of us. Um, it's, we're in a season in life where there is a list of priorities or a totem pole and wedding is not at the top of the totem because neither of us are wedding people and we have things that take precedent to having or buying a $2,000 wedding dress. I mean, even if I think about it, when I was in my first marriage, my dress was $300. I thought it was expensive and I didn't want to have all those weddings we had. I've never been the wedding girl. And culturally we were supposed to or forced to have three or four different weddings. It was not fun. So I think this time around, the second chance I'm getting, um, I want to do things my way and it's so exciting to have found someone that my way is also his way. And so I'd rather see that money going to piano or band or a trip for school or um, a retreat that, you know, they have to go for student council or um, paying for, I, I don't know, some new lesson or, um, new glasses or whatever you know it's like we've just gotten to this point in life where we have what we want and whatever we don't have and we want we buy for ourselves and we can't just really say like yeah a wedding is at the top of that list and we just know it's a given that it's going to be stressful and expensive because none of our family lives here everyone lives out of town so coordinating that making it work not feeling guilty about making people play for pay for plane tickets like i know for getting my brother and his family my parents out here it's a few thousand dollars that i would be mortified asking them to pay for and so i'd want to pay for them myself and I'm like, I'd want to pay for that myself for something that I'm not really even excited about. We already live together. We've both already had a wedding. This almost feels like it would be for everyone else and not us. So we haven't fully decided, but we basically want to go the elope, like the eloping route where we don't invite anybody. Um, we don't do anything big. We don't have a party. We just grab our kids roll up to a courthouse and um, have our pictures taken <laughs> with our kids, of course. Um, you know, when I think about who I want there, it's like, I just want my fiance there. I wanna get married to him and I want our kids to see that promise that we make to each other and in some way include our children in that promise of loving and respecting and honoring that vow we made to each other in front of our kids um kind of making them realize that it's okay to not get it right the first time um but it's not okay to lose hope and that um, second opportunities third opportunities fourth opportunities are often the right opportunity and they have to remain strong and committed and willed to want to succeed whether it's at a career or at a relationship or at any sort of crazy outlandish goal that they have that they don't stop at their first failure they keep going and i know it may sound deep and altruistic and crazy but it's how i am 
<laughs> and somehow this TMI turned into an emo monologue. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow we're gonna do ring shopping and like wedding outfit shopping just to kind of get an idea um, to lock down a date. We're basically, we put date night on the calendar for tomorrow, but we basically turned that date night into a we're locking ourselves in a room or in a mall or at a bargain dress store um, all day and we're just gonna do wedding related stuff and we're gonna come up with decisions, dates, times, locations, whatever, uh, whatever we decide, we're locking it down tomorrow. We have to have some like groundwork done, you know? And then Sunday the boys come back and I think Parker's going to work. So it'll be a very short, probably vlog. I, I need to stop saying that. Like I can never say it's gonna be a short vlog because that never really happens. Um, but it'll be probably really chill vlog like last weekend's was, but, um, anyway, I gotta get to work. It's almost 8.30, um, and I have a lot of work to do, and I need to look a little bit different than this, and I gotta make my coffee, and I have to give Wesley his meds. Are you comfortable? Oh my goodness, why'd you ruin it? I wanna show everyone your sexy little thigh. Yeah, your sexy little thigh. He had his thigh, like, overhanging here, <laughs> hanging out of the boat. It was so cute. Hey, Bunker LaRue. What you doing? Where's your brother? There he is! What's up, crop top? What's up, crop top? I always roll up his sweater when he goes potty, and then since I haven't put on his diaper, it's still flipped up. But, you know, he's ready for Valentine's Day. Look at him. Look at that handsome beast. Ready for Valentine's Day, my old mister? Tell everyone your birthday's coming up. Tell him you're gonna be 14. You're gonna be 14, Hubble Bull. My old little mister. Yes, you are. Hey, give him some room. Hi. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. He's my February 6th baby. Can you stop pushing your love on me? Hey, can you stop pushing your love on me? You want some aggressive loving? Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Yeah, you love it. I know you do. We gotta make our coffee, you guys, in our coffee station. Have I showed you guys this? I made chore charts. They have been an epic success so whichever person told me in a previous vlog that I needed chore charts I think it was in the vlog that was divided into two parts part two is where I was talking about how stressed I was with no help here at the house I did chore charts and holy mackerel they are a freaking success the green ones down here are paid charts so if they want to make extra money we don't give them an allowance they're allowed to do something that gives them money so if they're going to go to the mall they want to spend money on a stupid app or they want to get another surprise ryan ball toy surprise whatever um they come over here and they do a paid chart my oldest son is on fire when it comes to these things needless to say my load has been lightened significantly and my kids are awesome so here are all the chores, charts, chore chart. Here are all the chores they do. Um, so they make their bed every day. Um, we have a little donation clean out that they do maybe once a month for stuff that they don't fit into anymore or they're not in love with. We give them to someone else, take them to church or whatever. Um, help someone is one they get every day and um, make your bed. So all four of the kids get help someone and make your bed every single day. Um, and then depending on the day of the week, they either have to help me with laundry, wash their towels, change their sheets, stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I really like it. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, coffee, where's my coffee mug? Here we go. A lot of you guys ask me what the collagen that I use is, um, it's right here. I've talked about it a million times, so when I was doing my Thrive Market video, I didn't want to talk about it again because I didn't want to sound pushy, um, but it was the number one question is, which which collagen, which collagen is it, which collagen is it? So I'll link it in this vlog. This is the one I use. It is sweetened, so it's almost like adding a creamer, like a powder creamer to your coffee, um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. I think it's $20, and this lasts me for well over a month, and I drink coffee every morning. Here's a little frother. So we have our Keurig and then we have this Ninja coffee maker. You guys, when you start making coffee with actual grinds every morning, it tastes so much better and you start to not love your Keurig as much. So I'm gonna do this now. And I am super behind. This is why I don't like to sleep in. Now Wesley's completely off his med schedule, which we had already locked it down. For the last three days he was on the exact schedule. He was eating and everything. That's what it looks like. Let me see if I can fill this up through the viewfinder. God, it smells so good. So I just do one scoop, 
I put a little coffee, froth it up, and then put more coffee, and it gets like this nice little foam on it. Um, when I feel like I want some creamer, I'll use um, either this Nut Pods hazelnut from Nut Pods um, or French vanilla. These are unsweetened. Well, I sh it would be nice if I was actually showing you. These are the um, unsweetened, but they have a really strong flavor. But I'm already getting that sweetness from this one, so it's not a big deal. It's unsweetened, dairy-free. They have an unflavored, unsweetened. It tastes exactly like milk. So if you ever need a milk substitute for recipes, this thing is bomb. You want your meds? Is it med time? Come on, let's get your meds. Hey, you guys. Just here for a quick check-in. I don't even know what time it is. Um, I finished uploading my vlog for tomorrow finished doing the description box with like 75 links. You know how I feel I'm being successful? When YouTube's like, your description is too long, I'm like, perfect amount of links. <laughs> so then I have to pick and choose and see which ones I don't wanna put, which ones you guys probably won't be interested in. You know, after doing YouTube for almost seven or eight years, I don't even know, six or seven years, I don't even know how long it's been, I think eight years. Um, I've come to realize that the links I don't think you guys will like are the links you like the most. Like my watch bands, my tea kettle, um, what's another one? My milk frother. Like things that I've shown in like itty bitty glimpses. When I look at my analytics or like the statistics on um, these links and how they perform, they're like the most random ones and the ones you like the most, like drawer dividers. I guess that just means we're all like actual soulmate friends, you know? <laughs> I wanted to do a quick check-in with some bad news. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am like the grim reaper of products. So <laughs> if I ever find a product that I absolutely love and repurchase over and over, I kill it. <laughs> I murder it. It gets discontinued and then it's no longer available. That has happened with my favorite base coat. It's happened with my favorite body wash, caress I still hate you. It happened with my favorite panty liners and keeping it in the theme of panties. Why does it always come down to you talking about my taco? Like I'm starting to get the feeling that that my vlogs are a little creepy. So I was, uh, I took a little break from doing my whole admin work and emails and stuff like that. I felt accomplished, you know, I did my vlog, I uploaded a description, everything. I replied to every single one of my comments from yesterday's video and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a little break from the computer business because my lower back hurts because I ain't no spring chicken anymore and we have lower back problems. <laughs> so I decided to put away some laundry that I forgot I was doing yesterday. That's how you know I'm not stressed. If I'm stressed, I'm on it. The minute that thing calls me, I put the clothes in the dryer. The minute the dryer calls me, I put that clothes away. That's when I'm stressed. When I forget about a load or I leave clothes in the dryer, right now I'm having to rerun the dryer because it got wrinkled. That's how you know I'm at peace. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break from doing this work to do my other job because what else would you do? Hashtag adulting. Um, this is a uh, mommy thug life. So I was putting some underwear underwear away and you know when you kind of realize you have your favorite underwear you use them all the time and they start to get a little slouchy and baggy so you're like okay I'm gonna go through them kind of weed out the ugly ones the ones that are maybe ripping or close or don't fit you anymore they're just sliding down your butt or giving you a wedgie because they're so loose so I'm gonna go through and just get rid of the ones that don't work or don't function anymore or are yucky and order replacements there are a few things in this world that I refuse to do and I wait till the absolute latest second to do them. One of them is my taxes. The other one is underwear shopping. You can't get me to underwear shop. You can't get me to underwear shop because I have a pancake butt. I don't have a cute butt. I can't wear those sexy stringy whatever type underwear. I've tried every single kind. I've tried every shape. I've tried every thickness, wide, stringy, lace, no lace, no show, seamless, laser cut, all the thong, whatever styles. They're not comfortable. I just can't do it. Sorry guys. So my favorite style is bikini, um, but not bikini with the string on the hip bone, just, just the lace or a strap. Anyway, so I feel like they're the most flattering. I have the perfect ones that are seamless and you can't see them through my clothes. 
and anthropology decided to discontinue them. Why do I do this? Why do I kill the things I love? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen my fabulous underwear drawer, but this is what it looks like. It's never, it never has all these holes. So usually the back ones right here are empty, but everything else is full. This is my favorite underwear ever, ever, ever. It's from Anthropology, and they don't make it anymore. And it's like the best underwear for those of you that don't have a butt like me. So let me make this cute. Hold on a second. So after time, you know how your underwear starts to get like pilling on the elastic or like for these that are like glued together and laser cut this starts to separate this is a good pair we're still gonna keep it especially considering that I can't find them anymore but this is the style of underwear um, very comfortable this is a small um, they don't they don't I, I don't I don't know why I do this I don't know why I kill things I love um, I have it in pink nude black this is a dark gray and white I mean Okay. Real talk, I'm not that person that uses more than one pair of underwear a day. Um, I know there are some people that shower twice a day and use two pairs of underwear. Uh, Parker does not shower twice a day, but for some reason there's like 28 pairs of underwear every, every like three days in the laundry. <laughs> I'm being facetious, you guys, but maybe there's 20 pairs. Um, and so I'm not that girl. Like those will hold me up for long enough for me to find a replacement. I just don't want to. Why do my favorite things get discontinued? Oh, you know what, you guys? Let me show you what I've been doing. So, this roller. I was the type of person that was like, I don't believe the hype in these tools. I really don't. And then I did. And now I love it. And I can't go to bed without doing this. So, um... I had a dentist appointment on Wednesday, and I don't know what compelled me to remove all my milia the night before. So I don't know if you guys can still see, but there's a couple of little red spots on my forehead from where I removed them. So I got the pleasure to have someone two inches away from my face looking at all that skin damage I caused. <laughs> anyway, I needed to figure out a way to make my skin heal. And I remembered in my current obsessions, I talked to you guys about a balm or a salve from First Aid Beauty that just came out. And I was like, that First Aid package came with, well, First Aid Beauty package, came with a um, soothing mask. I'm gonna use that mask and I'm gonna repair this face that I damaged so severely. So I suffer from milia. Yes, I'm a newborn baby. I get milia a lot on my forehead and on the sides of my temples. And so every so often, I would say maybe like three or four times a year, I get after it myself. Um, I'm very careful, I'm sanitary, whatever. I wouldn't recommend you do it yourself unless you know what to do or how to do it um, because you could really damage your skin. Um, and it takes a little bit to heal. So right now that I've gotten to that point in my life where I'm not, I don't really care about a lipstick or a foundation. I care about skincare. So I love trying new stuff. Anyway, so I use this every night with my drunk elephant marula oil, whatever, and I love it, but it doesn't stay cold. The first time you put it on your face for like the first minute, it's like ice cold and you could just feel it calming your skin and having that serum or oil sink in but after like a minute it gets hot and you're like this is weird so anyway I'll tell you why I said that in a minute but I've been using this from first aid beauty it's the arnica relief rescue mask don't focus on it come on come on camera okay there we go so this is the mask I've been using it is so good you guys so so good um I took arnica two weeks before my procedure, my explant, and I think two weeks after. So a total of a month. Two weeks before, two weeks after, I took an Arnica supplement with bromelain. It was so good. It helped me heal insanely fast. So when I was like, hmm, it's a soothing mask. Oh, here we go again. It's a soothing mask, and it has Arnica, which my mom's a firm believer in Arnica. I believe her, man. Um, I decided to try it, although when I opened it the first time, it was a little off-putting because do you know what you're going to expect? Like, think in your mind what you're going to expect, what you're expecting to see. Like, what are you expecting to see? Figure it out. Pick a color and a viscosity or a thickness in your head, and then wait for it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
it looks like toothpaste. <laughs> so you think, oh my God, it's toothpaste. It's totally toothpaste. I'm gonna put it on my face and it's gonna burn because it's gonna be minty. None of that. It smells good. It doesn't burn. It doesn't have the thickness of toothpaste or the mintiness or the sandiness or anything. It's totally not a toothpaste, but it is so good. And so I'll put a thick layer of this on and then I'll roll it on in bed when we're watching TV or whatever. Um, I'll roll it on with this, and this is awesome. This is from Beauty Bio. This is a brand from Sephora, and this also came with one of those micro-needling things. I don't micro-needle my face. Like, I, no, it's not happening. I, I, I do not have the guts to do it myself, so I just use a roller, and I love this thing. And I wanted to get this, or rather, pause. I was talking to you about this, because Briogeo sent me this for Christmas and it's like the perfect size for my bedroom. I'm just wondering though if it's going to be um, too loud because it does have a fan. So I wanna figure out where to put it in my room um, so I could store this. Oh, I don't even think it fits, it's so little. Look how little it is. Oh, it does fit if you just give it a little shove. Let's try again. Could put it here, maybe. That's risky. Um, this is actual rose quartz, so it is a stone and it is fragile and it could break. Wesley, you want to see my roller? Can we roll your face? Um, I wanted to put it in here to keep it cold, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work. It's a little too small. But you see the size of it? It's like the smallest mini fridge I've ever seen and it's perfect for my room and it's not necessarily an eyesore because it's very clean. Anyway, you guys, I wanted to check in because our morning has actually been quite productive. Well, this lighting is so nice. So nice. So we're going upstairs right now because I have to package three giveaway prizes. Um, we've talked about this before, but I told you, um, I tell you all the time, I hide giveaways in a ton of my videos, um, Instagram posts, things like that. And so I have an Instagram dog account where I feature these cuties and it, I felt like so much pressure lifted off my shoulders when I opened their Instagram. Now I know a lot of people are like, your dog doesn't need an Instagram. But if I'm trying to be a professional and I'm trying to have a beauty and lifestyle Instagram account, it doesn't look professional if I'm always showing my dogs on stories. And so I wanted a place where it didn't have to be scripted. It didn't have to be planned. It didn't have to be scheduled at a specific time. Like if the double was doing something cute, sorry. You don't need to be looking in my dirty closet. <laughs> if the double was being cute, I wanted to post him. If Sophia was doing something cute, I wanted to post her. If Ernie was being adorable as per usual, I wanted to post her whenever I wanted, however I wanted, because I wanted. And so the other day, I posted a picture of Ernie doing the most hilarious <laughs> face ever. And I was like, caption this, it'll send you a prize. So I picked three winners. I was only gonna pick one, but I picked three because they were hilarious. So Sophia and Dutop are helping me package three boxes right now. And what we do basically is just jam fill them like Tetris boxes, complete, <laughs> hello, hello. Um, we just fill them to the brim, max capacity like Tetris boxes. We put a ton of beauty and skincare and products in there and just, just seal them up and ship them off. So we have three winners from that Instagram post. I'm gonna do another giveaway post on that what are you doing? What's going on? I need to do um, another giveaway on that Instagram. I'll probably do it later tonight. Um, but it really helps me kind of get through a lot of my PR samples. And I don't know, it feels better because they, they're going somewhere where they're being loved, used, appreciated. Um, there's a ton of you that really enjoy getting all these goodies sent to your house. And that's it. Hopefully the next time you see me, I'll have brushed my hair, but I can't make any promises. We're all friends here, and you know how I feel about showers. I love you. Hey, you guys, almost 5.30. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you wondering if I have showered today? The answer is nope. Um, it's been a very productive day, I have to say. Pat on my back. Got a lot of work done. A lot of successful work done, I would say. I've caught up on laundry. <laughs> not Having forgotten my laundry and not being caught up on it, then that gave me stress. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
This is very, this is a huge oxymoron. You're not doing your job laundry. Anyway, we are on our way to Target. Um, our printer has no more ink, but like no more ink to the point where you keep printing and your printing is just getting way more and more and more undecipherable. <laughs> more blurry lines than actual content on what you're printing. Um, so for me, ink is one of those things that we were talking about earlier today when I told you about the wedding where it hurts me in my soul to buy because when you print something, you usually don't keep it for very long. And so I'm like, ugh. and ink cartridges are like 50 bucks per color. So it's, it's a little painful. Thankfully, I don't buy them that often because I don't use ink that often. Um, but my local Target didn't have the two colors or the two cartridges that I needed. So I had to place an order for a little bit of a further Target. It's really not that far. It's like very close. Um, so I'm doing the drive up pickup for that right now. Anyway, so I planned this whole trip around the Target pickup and my grocery pickup. I have fallen in love with Walmart grocery pickup. I tried it once a few months ago. I liked it, but it still couldn't sh help me shake the fact that someone else is like picking stuff for me. It just felt weird. Um, but I did it last week and it was 100% sheer success. I mean, everything was perfect. Even the produce was perfect. They basically kind of picked things that I would have picked for myself. Um, so I felt really good about it. So I did it again today, but the only time slot they had was six to seven. So I'm picking up the um, Target Inc. Then I'm gonna find a Walgreens and I need to buy some peanut butter filled pretzels that my son adores. We put them in his lunchbox a couple days a week. He really likes that as his snack. Um, and they only have them at Walgreens. And then one of you guys left me a comment in last night's video and said that I need to try the Jordana jumbo pencils that they're like super awesome, super sheer, super beautiful, and they leave a stain. So I was like, hmm, that kind of sounds like those Revlon, do you remember those Revlon lip stains or lip balms or whatever? Came in the big fat crayon. I wonder if that's what I'm looking for. I don't, I can't imagine. Like in my mind, I'm imagining those jumbo booksum pencils, but I have a feeling because she said stain, it's one of those twist up plastic, big fat chubby, like chubby stick from Clinique. That's kind of what I think I'm looking for. Um, so I'll kill time doing that, getting the pretzels and looking at the pencils, and then uh, pick up the groceries uh, at Walmart at six o'clock. Parker told me he's on his way home, but he does work 40 miles from where we live, and it's rush hour, so I'm probably not gonna see him for another seven hours. <laughs> um, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna be productive, I'll get this stuff done, and then when he gets home, he can actually relax. He's been gone for over 12 hours. I think you left at 5.15 or 5.30 this morning. Anyway, so that's the status of my life. Um, I wish I had anything, anything, just anything remotely exciting to share with you guys that, is, has, that has transpired between the hours of my last check-in to now, but I don't. I did get a really, like a comment that really bothered me. Do you guys remember I'm always telling you like, any, people can leave me comments about me, I don't care. If they talk about my family, my friends, my loved ones, or my dogs, it like pokes the bear. So um, in my recent Cooking Break with Danny video, if you're unfamiliar, I have a cooking channel. Anyway, in my recent Cooking Break with Danny, my meatball video, um, Sophia was downstairs with me when I was filming and I was like, do you wanna say hello? And this person was like, everything was going great until your famous line, do you wanna say hello? I roll emoji and I was like, who are you? First of all, if you know it's my famous line, you keep up real well with my vlogs. Second of all, how does having a dog in my video for 14 seconds affect you? And if you even remotely hate dogs, or don't like dogs related to cooking, or don't like dogs in a kitchen, I'm trying to think of all the possibilities why this person is so negative and like angry, you know? So I'm like, if you don't like dogs, you don't like dogs in the kitchen, if you don't like when I talk about my dogs, you're really following the wrong content. I just look at it this way. 
if I watch someone that I used to like and I don't like them anymore, I just move on. But like no part of me ever is triggered to be like, your videos are the worst. Anyway, I have to go to Walgreens. I'll check in later when I have a ton of groceries that I didn't have to shop with myself. Thanks, Walmart. <laughs> they wouldn't feel like I was recording them. The point wasn't to record them so you guys could see that part. I just wanted you to see how easy that was. Isn't that crazy? That doesn't make me sound happy. <laughs> but did you see they handed me the bread and the eggs? So everything else, if it rolls around in the back a little bit, I'm okay. I'm like two minutes away from my house. But it saves me the trouble of getting down, um, park, like parking, getting down, or rather showering. <laughs> shopping, pushing the buggy myself, putting the buggy back. And we've had really bad weather lately. Um, when I have the boys with me, it's no, we can't go to the toy aisle. No, you can't get that candy. No, we can't get that cake. Okay, maybe we can buy a cake. You know, and so I think the number one most convincing factor besides the convenience and besides all of that madness. Oh, by the way, if you haven't tried this before, the grocery pickup, they have $10 off. Um, promo code. I don't know what it is. Um, this is not sponsored by the way. They don't have, um, they have a promo code. So if it's your first time, <laughs> compression tank, if it's your first time, um, trying it, they give you $10 off. I think if you spend 40, so it's a great deal. I think in California it's $15 off. Anyway, why am I filled with so many useless facts? So if none of that convinces you, this will convince you. When you do your online order, you don't add all that extra to your cart while you're pushing your buggy through the aisles. Like, oh, extra super duper flaming hot hell mouth set your mouth on fire new Takis flavor, add to cart. Um, oh sure baby, you want those new Pop-Tarts that you're gonna taste and hate and then I have to eat the rest of those 12 Pop-Tarts because you hated them and so I have to eat those empty calories. Absolutely add it to the cart. So you stick to the list. You're never left alone to your own devices inside a Walmart. You stick to the list, you stick to your budget. Helps you save money, you guys, trust me. Anyway, try it. Let me know if you liked it. You get an email when you place your order and you're allowed to check the substitute box or the no substitute. I always say no substitutions because I like the brands I like. I like the products I like. I don't want them to substitute at their own discretion. So you can uncheck that box or you can just check certain substitutions in case it's something you need that day for dinner, then you can say, okay, you can do the substitution. You get an email with your initial order. You get another email with um, products I couldn't find. And then you get a text alert when your order is ready for pickup. You check the text alert or you go into the app and you check in and then they just come out and meet you and you sign. It's crazy, you guys. Anyway, I saved like $25 with the no substitutions today. And it was stuff that I could do without. Like, we'll survive without a tiny $4 watermelon. We'll survive without a cantaloupe that might have not even been in season. We'll survive with all that stuff that they didn't need to substitute. Um, anyway, so I'm on my way home. I'm gonna put away all these groceries and then that'll be it for today. Um, I don't know what Parker had in mind, but looking this extravagant, we're certainly not going out. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hello, Popo. Hello, Mern. Hello, Mern. Hi, Mern. Hi, Mern. All right, you guys. I figured out the one downside to this grocery pickup. All the plastic bags. Usually when I do my grocery shopping, I get those really giant black sturdy tote bags from um, Amazon that I showed you guys in a video. Um, I've had them forever. So many groceries fit into one tote bag, so I can do all my grocery shopping with like three or four of them. 
So this is the only downside. However, they do have a really large depository at the entrance of a Walmart where they recycle the bags, so that helps a little bit. But Parker actually just met me in the garage, so we're gonna discuss dinner plans. I have to put all this away, but I wanted to say that because I know one of you guys is gonna mention it, like, hey, all those plastic bags, is there any way around it? Unfortunately, there isn't because this is the system that they have figured out. So they go department to department bagging your things and it just helps them not mess up your order. So I guess I didn't think about that. So it's maybe not a good thing to do quite often. Hey, hey you guys, this is my moisturized face. I'm wearing my night cream, okay? It's about 7.30. I have two pieces of good news. The first piece of good news is I showered. The second piece of good news is we favored dinner and we got my favorite of all time. If you've seen these weekend vlogs, you know what my number one choice for favor is. What is it? What is it? I've told you guys, if you're in the DFW area, you have to check out, what's up with that paint job? Do you see that? Shadowing over there? I mean, the horrible paint color alone. It's weird, do you see that? It looks white. Anyway, I've told you guys before, if you're in the DFW area, best Greek food ever. Platia's Greek Cuisine. We ordered it. It got here pretty fast. Do you want to see? I want to show you really fast because I'm starving and I want to eat. You ready for this? All right, handsome man, give us a show. This is the good stuff right there. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I think that's, I think that's mine. Don't zhuzh it because the juice will leak out. Try not to zhuzh. Oh, that's the kid's meal. It's a Greek, it's the chicken souvlaki. It's just grilled chicken. I think this is Parker's. He gets the, <laughs> <laughs> The bottom's like really slick. Oh, we should probably put something down cause you're gonna make a mess. No, I'll be right. Uh, hero's platter, Greek potatoes and green beans. And then we got two salads. We got one. And, ooh, extra pita, that's nice. More salad, their dressing is bomb. Oh, this could be a placemat. That's soup, duh. What's my favorite food group? Liquid. <laughs> ooh, what is that? Oh, your green beans. You know what? People, when they go to this restaurant, they will order these to go, like a couple of orders to go. So they must be really good. I've never actually tried them. I'm not a big green bean fan, but they're very popular. So yeah, and then I got my Ave, ave Glemono. Ave Glemono. Ta-da. There's no spoon in there, huh? Or did we get little kits? Usually I give little kits. Kit. Awesome. All right, y'all, I'm hungry, and I can't keep grazing you with this amazing look that I have going on. I know you're probably already tired of seeing it all day today, but at least my hair's clean now, and I smell good. I won't smell very good very much longer because I'm gonna eat Greek food, but. Especially once I'm done with it. Hey, hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. It's about 11 o'clock. This is me with my makeup on. <laughs> Who is this girl? Um, first of all, can we talk about how much hair I have now? Where did all this hair come from? It's very exciting. And you know the most exciting part? The most exciting part is even Parker was like, what's up with your hair? It looks different. Like it's thicker. And then he grabs it and he's like, it's actually thicker. <laughs> so I really do think, look at that. Who's that? Who's that majestic creature? <laughs> they know it's time to go. I really do think that the biotin and collagen in combination help my hair a lot. I know, I told you guys in a previous video that when I stopped taking it right before my explant, um, I noticed the difference immediately. My hair slowed down significantly. It was very uh, breaky, like it was very, it would break very easily. <laughs> and now I'm like, holy mackerel, look at that. So I know the length, um, the length is definitely due to the biotin and collagen. New hair growth and the fullness, I think, has a lot to do with um, my explant surgery. I know a lot of people get balding from uh, breast implant illness. I know I had a really big bald spot on this side. I always thought it was like postpartum hair loss, which it could have been, but it never came back. And slowly that patch is kind of filling up. Although don't look at this spot right here. It looks like dandruff. It's where I got hit in the head with the pinata stick. 
I just wanted to check in quickly. We're so looking forward to this day. We're gonna go ring shopping. We're gonna go suit shopping. We're gonna try on a few dresses. I'm gonna try to include you guys in the process, but if I'm in the zone, y'all, I can't make any promises. So um, we are gonna go eat first, and then we're gonna go, I think, to Jared, right, after? Yeah. yeah. yeah so we're gonna eat, we're gonna go to Jared, and then we're gonna check out a few places. Oh, hey, what are you doing there, little missy? So go, is it vlog time? I'm ready. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go eat and you guys are coming with us, but I wanted to show you an outfit of the day cause it's actually, <laughs> it's one of my best looks yet. No, it's not. Literally what happened was I wanted to wear a black sweater. This is my favorite one or rather my only one that's plain. Um, I wanted to wear shoes that were brand spanking new that I've never worn and I've owned for over a year and I wanted to be comfy. So I'm wearing my favorite jeans. So that's how we came up with this outfit. And the reason that I put on makeup, you guys know, when it's just Parker and I and we're having a date together or a day together, I don't wear makeup. I usually don't. He doesn't like it. I don't necessarily feel compelled to spend 15 minutes doing my makeup, so I don't bother. Um, but I'm trying on dresses or potentially trying on dresses. And if I don't feel my best, I'm not gonna like something as much as I would. You know what I mean? Like you just feel better. So if you're ever needy, if you're ever in need of a gown, of a dress, of something for like an event, do your makeup, wear shoes that, I don't know, make you feel cute, dress the part so that when you put that dress on, you can kind of imagine what it's gonna look like when you're full, fully ready. Would I do this face for my quote unquote wedding? Probably not, but I would definitely have on probably the base in this situation here. I do diff different, I do my eyes differently and my lips for sure. But anyway, I told you guys you were gonna be proud, astonished, breathtaken from this amazing outfit that we have going on. Um, so this sweater is from Express. This hair right here is from Mern. Um, and then these jeans are also from Express, actually. Let me pull them down. I don't know why they're hiked up so high. And then I'm wearing my Michael Jackson shoes. Yeah, look at these Michael Jackson shoes. Actually, I bought these over a year ago. I would say almost two years ago with Sam when she was visiting. I got them at DSW. It was an impulse grab where I was like, Sam, I love these shoes. And she's totally my moral compass where she's like, or, you know? And so it was one of those where I just reached, grabbed them, tried them on, and I was like, holy mackerel. But for some reason, I've never worn them. So today's the day. Today's the day we're breaking them in when we go wedding dress shopping. Parker's probably mad because I'm delaying the meal. So we gotta yeah, we go. Moved out of the brunch window and now we're moving into the lunch window. So. But I love you. It's 12 o'clock. I just ate off my lip stain. We went to a place called Maple Street Biscuit Company. So apparently there's a lot of biscuit-led <laughs> restaurants in Dallas. Biscuits, biscuits are hot right now. Yeah. Hot, pa hot button. <laughs> Parker was like, hey, how about Maple Biscuit, whatever. And I was like, is that the same biscuit place you talked about last month? I got last my finger month? on the pulse of uh, Trendy Brunch. <laughs> And he's like, no, this is a different biscuit place. He's like, there's a few. I'm like, what? Like, just biscuits. That's all, that's all they do. So I had one of those moments where I stare at the menu and I'm like, I don't know what to order because everything has fried chicken and biscuit on it. And then the in-between stuff is different. So I just went with my gut and I saw one that had a little asterisk that said, like seen on the Food Network. I was like, you can't go wrong. Oh my God. It was a biscuit with fried chicken, a a patty, like a giant 
herb and breadcrumb crusted patty of goat cheese, which we've talked about this before. Me and goat cheese have a romantic relationship. And then like this tangy sweet chili glaze on it. I don't even know what biscuit he got because I didn't taste it. Was yours good? It was basic, yeah, I, I right? Got the, yeah, I got their basic flagship, you know, the thing they always put on the menu first because uh -huh. that's, you know, the basic But it was what, white gravy? Biscuit. Yeah, it was a uh, biscuit, chicken, gravy. Cheese? No. Egg. Oh. I think there's some egg on there. And, oh, bacon. <laughs> Oh, bacon. Okay. Yeah, so it was, it was like a sandwich, like a breakfast sandwich kind of thing. Yes. Um, and then we got this um, kind of like potato hash with hams and peppers um, to share. It's a little expensive, but the food is um, like organic, free range, whatever, fresh, never frozen. So it was good. I mean, our biscuits were like nine, ten dollars and then we got the side dish and coffee. Um, I would come back, but I definitely would come back like for a late breakfast or lunch. I would feel weird eating that for breakfast. That's just me, it's how I wired. Like, I love fried chicken, but for breakfast is a little, but it was delicious. It's an easy way to eat light and still not be heavy for the rest of your day, you know? Yeah, it's well, a, it's it was very busy, satisfying. It's a busy morning type place when you want to get in and get out. You don't want to sit there for too long because people are just streaming in and yeah. you feel like, okay, I need to eat and get out of here. So mm -hmm. everybody else has a place to sit too. There was definitely a little pressure. Like we were having a really nice conversation um, about soulmates and stuff because 90 day fiance. Okay, hold on. Let me put on my seatbelt. Oh, please. I don't want to die. I'm with an officer of the law, you guys. Um, okay. So you guys know we're fans of 90 day fiance and this season it's taken me quite a bit of time to get invested in any of the couples like Natalie and that guy where is he from like Oklahoma or something um I, I don't Wait, which guy are we talking about we're talking about the Ukrainian couple where they broke up the last episode oh yeah that was a bummer uh he's from uh Georgia or something yeah southern but very southern northern, kind of um so it, I don't know. It's just taking me a really long time to get invested in any of these couples. But one couple that really rubs me the wrong way is Tanya and Senjin. Senjin? The guy from South Africa? I no, want... he's from most, is he, you know, South, he is Africa. From South Africa. Mm -hmm. And Tanya infuriates me. Like, this man would be happy with so little. And she is such a... I want to cut off her hair, first of all. Second of all, I want to tell him, you can do better. Like, blink if you're in trouble. <laughs> we'll save you. It's not, no, no amount of taco is worth that kind of stress. Oh my gosh, she's insane. Anyway, so he and I were talking about, <laughs> so I don't know, the conversation with soulmates came up, but he was making a joke about Sinjin and Tanya, how she, she said to him in his face, Oh, I have a soulmate, but it's not you. It's my first love. And I have a feeling we'll be reunited sometime in the future. <laughs> you should have seen Sanjin's face. I was like, bro, this is when you get up, you pack your duffel bag from the shed, and you go back home. <laughs> but anyway, Parker and I were talking about soulmateship and if we believed in it, and if we thought about it, and what we thought. And I'm like, my response was, you can have more than one soulmate, I think. If I think if I know if I think I know what a soulmate is, I don't think it needs to be romantic. I don't think it needs to be just one. I think it's just meeting someone that sees you in a light that no one else does. That sees you when you don't want to be seen. You know, someone that's like a translator for your soul. Parker does that with me. I told you guys in last weekend's vlog. He knows when something's wrong before I even know something's wrong. And Sam also does that with me. So I don't know. I don't think it, it I, don't, I think it's I don't think it's as deep or as pressure full as people make soulmate ship to me. Right? I don't know. I don't think I want uh, I, when people say soulmate, you know, it's they make it sound like it's uh, everything was perfect from the moment we've met and it's been perfect ever since. Oh and you know perfect match. Yeah, I don't think I want that. In a relationship. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd rather have one that you work at and you earn. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, are those soulmates, when something bad happens, are they going to be able to keep it together? Yeah. Have they earned it? Have they put in the work to, to know how to. You earn being a soulmate. Yeah. You don't. 
show up and you're someone's soulmate. That makes perfect sense, actually. Wow, we, look at you being all insightful. Well, we work in our relationship and, and we earn every bit of happiness that we get from each other, I think. And I think that's, that's true. That's the kind of relationship I want to be in. Oh, I thought you were going to say I want. I'm like, no. <laughs> that's the relationship I'm in. <laughs> that is why I'm happy here. Because <laughs> I work every day to earn my place. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want you guys to witness the homicide, but if there is one, I'll tell you where the bail money is. <laughs> the description box below. Hey, you know what someone said to me um, the other day? It was on, it po he pointed out somewhere, but it, the saying was, uh, dirty hands, clean money. And to me that meant that if you work hard for something, what you get can be better than anything that's ever given to you easy. So... Were you watching a... It sounds like you were watching a drug show. It was actually on a koozie, but I didn't want to cheat you. <laughs> it came from a koozie. But I was dirty, like, hey, that, that makes Dirty hands, clean money? Dirty hands, clean money. Like you work hard. Oh, wait, wait. It's two sentences. Yeah. Dirty, dirty hands, hands, clean, clean money. money. Okay, not dirty hands, clean money. Honest living. <laughs> I took it as one sentence. Uh, I was like, where are you? What are you talking about? No, no, no. Are we going to launder money? Because I'm in. <laughs> it means if you work for it, it's more precious. Whatever, own Ozark. If I'm you in. work for it, it's more precious. Oh, yeah. Dirty hands, clean money. If it's, yeah. e if it's easy. Labor. If it's it hard work. If it comes easy, it's easier to throw away. It's true. It's true. I was telling them, I was telling the pandas how frugal we are. I feel like it's a good thing we met each other because we're frugal in, this, in like the same common places. Like we have our expenses... We have our parks, we have our luxuries, we have our, the treats to ourselves, but like we'd rather our money go to our kids' activities or, um, I don't know, something for our home. But it's like, do I wanna spend $1,000 on a wedding dress? Negative. What do they say? Negatory. Hmm. I'm not sure that's a word, but yeah, they <laughs> no? can say it. But they say it, right? Uh, <laughs> like, to be that. funny? Negatory. Negatory. I'm not sure that's a word. Um, yeah, so speaking of spending money, we're gonna go buy wedding rings. Are you excited? I'm excited. You want to tell him how you have web fingers? Look, he says he's web fingers. He's webbing right there. Literally everyone has that web. <laughs> he's like, I don't wear a wedding ring because my fingers are webbed. And so this lady, the one that sold him the engagement ring, she's like, no, your fingers are pretty normal. Let me put you in a couple bands. And I was like, <laughs> my girl. <laughs> What's her name? Wendy, Mary, Susie, Wendy. 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 Oh, are you texting her? Perfect. Wendy. I was double checking. Is she prettier? Sure. Is she prettier than me? Nobody's prettier than you, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys. It's almost 2.30. I'm here for a quick check-in as Parker is trying on some pants for a custom suit. So we walked into a men's warehouse after I picked out um, my wedding band. Turns out we're gonna pick out a new setting and a wedding band. It's kind of exciting. Um, he's in the fitting room right now. We're getting him two custom suits. So because of his job, he spends a lot of his time in the courthouse and he doesn't have like a really nice suit. I was like, well, why don't we just get you a fancy suit for our wedding and then you can just use it for work. So maybe we're getting him two suits, no big deal. We have an associate helping us right now. His name is David. So much fun. If it weren't for Wendy and David at Jared in Men's Warehouse, today would have been a long, tedious, chore-like day. But it's been so fun. Everyone's made it memorable and such a great experience. But I wanted to check in with you guys because I hadn't. Um, I don't know what we're doing after this, but I don't know if I have the gusto and the energy to try on dresses. I feel like I'm wimping out not doing so. But I also ordered a couple of dresses online that are gonna arrive on Wednesday, and I'm like, mm, it's close enough to wait a little bit, maybe? I don't know. Should I chicken out? I'm not really in the mood to try on dresses. I don't feel dress cute, but I feel like I should. What do you guys think? Maybe I need ice cream or coffee or both. And then we can try on dresses. Anyway, let's figure out what we're gonna do first and I'll check in later. I love you. Hey, hey, you guys. It's a little bit after five. I haven't checked in because thug life. So I can proudly say that no inch of this body has tried on a dress today. <laughs> we got out of it. So look, it, this is what happened. 
We got to Willow Bend and I had a list of stores I could go to at Willow Bend. This is a mall. I'm talking to you guys like you know what I'm talking about. So we um, we went to, I picked this mall because there was a bridal outlet store. There's a Neiman Marcus which has great dresses for parties which is kind of what we were looking for. And there's also a Macy's. So we get there and we can't find this bridal outlet on the map. But it says it's open. It's also on the brochure map, not the big map. And we're like, hmm, this is kind of weird. So Parker pulls out his thing and he calls. They're like, yeah. They're like, hey, bridal, bridal couture outlet or whatever it's called. And it's in the city of Dallas, which is like 40 miles from where we were. We moved. Oh, that's nice. We didn't get the update. So that store wasn't even, didn't exist at that location. We walk into Neiman's and they have nothing even remotely close to that looks like a white or ivory or cream colored party dress. Not a thing. It's like, do I even want to go to Macy's at this point? Nah, bro. So we got our wedding band. Super exciting, you guys. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Um, a lot of reasons for it, but once I show it to you, I can tell you guys the whole story. And then, um, we got custom suits for Parker, which will arrive in four weeks, which is also really exciting. Um, he got to pick the lining, the buttons, the, the, the lapel style, right? Your, what is it, classic slim, he said you were? Yes. It makes it sound nice, like he's still young and dapper, cause he is. Um, and then we went to the mall and that the dresses was a total fail. It was kind of one of those things where it was like the day was great, 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 great. And we knew when our luck ran out, that's when you leave Vegas, okay? Know when to, what's the word? Know when to quit. When to quit? Yeah, like know when to quit or when know to when fold. To fall. Know when to fold. That was us. It's going to be once you pass that light on the right. right. Yeah. Um, and, and so. Uh, it was a men's warehouse. Huh. in Louisville and the guy's name was David. 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 That's for David. Awesome. He is awesome. I think I told you guys in the previous check-in what his name was. But yeah, if you're in Louisville uh, or even if anywhere in, in the Dallas area and you have a man that needs a custom suit, he made it so pleasant and fun. We thought we were going to be there like oh, for hours. Oh, here's a Walgreens we can go to after. Um, we still haven't gotten the peanut butter pretzels, y'all. Or the jumbo lip pencils. Um, right now, we, we got home and we were like playing with the dogs. We had to have one of those moments where we kind of like check in with them and give them some cuddles. And so we snuggled up with them for a little bit. At least I did. The most cuddles. Judge me. He did the most cuddles. <laughs> the double is like a magnet to him. And it was funny because I saw Wesley kind of like creeped in and like, like nudged him out of the way and took his spot. He was looking for menus on where we would eat and he didn't even notice. And I was like, did you see that? Bubba just got bullied away from you. And I was like, why are they both trying to bully up on you instead of me? But, um. I'm warmer. So yeah. So right now we're gonna go to this place called Shoji to their sushi bar. And then we're gonna go uh, to Walgreens and to PetSmart. I was telling Parker, I don't think Sophia and Wesley are comfortable in their crate at night. Like I was watching them on the baby monitor. Yes, my dogs have a baby monitor. <laughs> You guys, Wesley's sick and it freaks me out. So I like to constantly watch him like a creep. I'm like, you know who I am? I'm Joe from you. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to look up Joe you memes. That's me. Uh, so I'm like spying on them because I never know. Like last night, Parker, what happened last night? You tell him. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm on the spot now. <laughs> What happened last night with the dogs? Which is why it's convenient to have a camera in there. Oh, Wesley got sick and started, uh, and uh, Sophia could sense and started freaking out. So mm -hmm. did Mer. They called us over and they were screaming, and Wesley I was can't like, hear them, so, so uh, you hear yeah, last night. Throw on the camera and see what's up. I didn't tell you guys that, I don't think, in my check in this morning. Yeah, it was a rough night. I had to, like, we got out of bed, like, every 30 minutes, every 30 minutes, every 30 minutes until maybe 11 30. Finally, I was like, Y'all better be so tired, you're done for the night. Um, and they did, they were pretty good all night. They didn't wake up until seven, which is when Wesley started crying again and we just got up. Anyway, that's why they have doggy cameras. But what I was getting at is we wanna go to PetSmart because I think they're not comfortable at night in the little pad that I've put in there. It's not like a mattress, like Mern has a mattress pad in there. Sophia and Wesley share, but they have this thick blanket and they ball it up and move it to the side I don't, I just, something tells me they're not comfortable. So if we can find them a spongy pad, something that doesn't require a blanket, I think we might, 
they might feel better. And I also haven't considered, they're old dogs. They're 11? Yeah, they're 11, so they probably need that like joint comfort Tempur-Pedic. Release, you know, like no pressure points or whatever. What do old people like? Full I'm not old, so I don't know. <laughs> a butler. <laughs> they need a butler. <laughs> anyway, we're here at Shoji. We're going to eat sushi. You'll get to see it. And that's it. I love you. I come to you in all my glory. All right, so today's Sunday. I'm waiting for my nuggets to come back. Um, we are going to spend the day together and then Parker will come home and we will grill dinner and that'll be it for this weekend. So yesterday we left you guys off on sushi. We found a new sushi place. I can say that confidently. I can say that uh, proudly. Holy goodness, okay, they have actual sushi chefs from Japan. The way they make their sushi rice is like the perfect amount of vinegar. It's like tender, it's not cold or hot. Oh my gosh, and even like the Americanized like fruity sushi with like a bunch of ingredients you wouldn't typically see in like classic sushi recipes. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing, delicious, amazing, amazing, amazing. This restaurant is cool because it's divided in half. One side is hibachi, like Benihana, and then the other side is um, a sushi bar. So we went there and then we crossed the street over to Walgreens, got my son his peanut butter pretzels, which I need to show you guys. I've talked about those pretzels so much in this vlog, but I haven't actually shown you what they look like. So this is his, um, Guilty Pleasure. They're Nice brand, which is a uh, Walgreens store brand. It's like they're up and up for Target. Nice is the Walgreens brand. And these are the peanut butter filled pretzels. I actually haven't tried them. I know, mom of the year. I haven't actually tried them, but he says they're delicious, they're amazing, they're bomb. Um, so I get them for him, I would say every two or three weeks. They're $1.50, so it's kind of nice to treat him. Hey, do I treat you? Yeah, I do. You have your own shelf in the pantry. Are you having a good Sunday? Yeah? What's the matter? What do you want? What do you want? Are you okay? Oh no, it's too early for that. I'll give you one later. You have to have your breakfast first. You haven't had your breakfast. Nope. Sorry lady. Eat your breakfast and then we'll talk, okay? Anyway, so we crossed the street, we went over to Walgreens and then we went to PetSmart. I told you guys yesterday, I think Wesley and Sophia are uncomfortable in their bed, the way that it's set up. Um, and we were trying to find a mattress like an actual sponge, like a foam mattress for their crate. Not a mat, not a blanket, not one of those that looks like a donut or has a rim around it, just a straight mattress. Um, and they only had 20 by 28s, and their crate is a three foot crate. It's a two by three foot crate. So I need a 24 by 36 ish. An inch or two off is no big deal, but six inches off is a huge deal, especially when two dogs are sharing a crate. Now, I've tried to crate them separately or have them sleep separately, and they just can't deal. They need to sleep together. So, it's fine. We went to PetSmart. It was a huge fail. There was nothing. There were either little itty-bitty beds or giant, enormous Amazonian-sized beds. Like, I want to meet the dogs that need those beds because I just want to talk. And by talk, I mean a huge cuddle puddle of loving. <laughs> They're so big. I don't even know where you would put a bed that big. We left, whatever. We came home. We did our Gary Chapman daily, um, daily devotional. Um, and then we watched a whole ton of The Ranch. Have you guys seen The Ranch? The Ranch is one of those shows that has me on such a deep emotional roller coaster that every episode I want to stop watching and yet I watch every single episode. That show is one of those that has me on this, I'm severely emotionally invested. <laughs> 
So we got home and we watched a bunch of that and fell asleep. Today's Sunday, Parker is working today. Um, he's just trying to get some work done, um, work-wise, to catch up on work. But he's also on call, which means any time between now and tomorrow at 6 a.m., they could call him in. So uh, the boys will be back soon. Um, I'm actually waiting for an Amazon delivery because as soon as we left PetSmart, I was like, my kids need to be comfortable. And by kids, I mean Wesley and Sophia. So I jumped on Amazon and I'm having a bed delivered right now, literally. One of the perks of having an Amazon um, shipping center or like warehouse locally is that you get deliveries in like less than 12 hours. So um, I'm gonna take the boys to a Mexican meat market because I want Parker to grill. I've been craving this like skirt steak or fajita steak that they have at this um, little Mexican meat market. It's not close by, but it'll be fun enough where I like strap the kids in the car and take them on an adventure and we go get some meat. Hopefully my Amazon order arrives right now so that I could show you guys. I hope it's not a fail. I mean, the reviews were amazing. It's like the exact size that I need and it's the same structure, like the same shape or whatever that we were thinking about. So um, I'm gonna wait for that to arrive. I'll show it to you guys and then I'll say bye. How about that? You guys, this is totally legit. It's a memory foam bed. It's actually air compressed like a uh, Casper mattress. How crazy is that? All right, let me put you guys a little lower so you can see the action. All right, so you gonna help me, Mark? Just get your nose under the blade, okay? Oh my goodness. How cute is this? <laughs> oh my God, it's compressed. <laughs> my friend Nusha and Sam are always joking that if they die and come back to this world, they wanna come back as one of my dogs. <laughs> oh, you, you like the bed too? Is it nice? I think that when you get a pet, you make them a promise and you can't go back on that promise. You find a way, you know? And so with my dogs, as hard as it is emotionally and financially, um, they are getting older and they are sick and they don't feel good and they spend most of their time sleeping anyway and the least I could do is provide them some comfort. So I got them a bed on Amazon. And it just so happened to be a memory, a memory foam compressed little mattress that we're gonna put in their crate right now and see if they like it. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. I have to let it inflate properly for 12 hours. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a ver, Topo, can you model this for us? Let's see if it fits. You ready? Are you ready? Oh my goodness, look at that. It's the perfect size. It's the perfect size. Oh, you're gonna show us? Okay, go. Mern, show us. Oh, you're a super model. Mern is my super. What are, what are you doing? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> so this is the bed we got them. Um, three year limited warranty. Oh, snap. This is what the bed looks like. It's from Amazon, so I will link it in the um, description box below. That's a little information on it. I don't know. I thought the color was cute. The reviews were amazing and they were actually legitimate reviews. I don't know if you guys know this, but you could buy reviews on Amazon. So there's a website that Parker showed me where you can legitimize, um, what is she doing? Where you can legitimize if, uh, the reviews are real or not, like if they're authentic or if they're super old or if they were, um, a lot of times, uh, what people do is, hi, um, a lot of times the post, hey, he's not trying to eat your food, leave him alone. Um, a lot of times a post on Amazon used to be a, a post for something else. So the reviews that remain are for something else that they're not even selling anymore or it's one of those options where it's like the drop down screen where one listing um, is promoting three different beds, not just this memory foam bed. So the reviews you're reading might be for a different bed, not this bed. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a useful piece of information. <laughs> I love you. I do. Let's go get Wesley. See if Wesley likes his bed. Wesley, come. Look. Wesley, go. No, Wesley. Wesley, go. Wesley, go. Oh, is that nice? Oh, is it weird? Do you want me to wash it first? Should I wash it and get
get some little downy scent in there for you? A little hypoallergenic downy action? Sir, is that what you want? Huh, my fancy sir? Come here, I invite you in again. Wesley, come. Wesley, go. Sit, sit. Mern, you're in the shot, go. You're blocking the talent. Mern, go. Mern, go. What do you think? What do you think? We like it? It matches your diaper. I got you the gray with the charcoal. What do we think? Is it Wesley approved? Is it Wesley approved? Oh my goodness, he's so handsome. I love you, I love you. Yeah, you're so handsome, I wanna eat all your back rolls. I do, I wanna just bite them all because they're so delicious. They're so juicy and perfect. We love you, Bunker. Mama gonna take care of you forever. Mama gonna take care of you forever. You guys don't you? Yes, you too, Mern. Literally, Mern, the pandas don't want to your butt the whole time. Come on, be a lady. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like any and all my vlogs, all of the stuff you saw, all of the places you went, all of the things we bought, everything I was wearing, as long as it's available and I can still link it for you, I would be more than happy to do that. So check the description box below. Aside from that, if I forgot anything, if you have any questions, ideas, whatever, don't forget this is a happy community where we all chat, help each other out. So leave us a comment in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I feel like I'm leaving a new voicemail message. <laughs> anyway, I love you so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Say bye to your friends. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. I love you. <laughs>